everybody and welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. I just want to thank everybody who subscribed and also liked my videos and don't forget to leave your comments. This month I'd like to talk to you about how to make your point shoes last longer. Point shoes are expensive, we all know that. So it's all about trying to get them to last longer and get the most for your money. One of the reasons that they are so expensive is because they're still, for the most part, handmade. So even if a point shoe is constructed assembly line, it's still human beings are touching it and anything that's handmade, it just requires a lot of labor, so it can be quite expensive. Some brands are more expensive than others. So I'd like to share with you my tips on how to make them last longer. Now, one of the things I, I'd like to say is that a well-fitted point shoe is always going to last longer than a point shoe that doesn't fit correctly. So if it doesn't fit correctly, if it doesn't mold and contour to your foot, it starts to break down into ways that don't work so well and the shoe will die faster. Also, another tip that I would give you is to not just, if you're in the position, if, you're, if your feet have stopped growing for the young dancers, uh, it, and also if you're financially you can swing it, you should purchase at least two pairs at the same time and then rotate your pairs. So you would wear one pair one time, another pair another time, and then maybe even if you had a third pair, right, those would be some ways to do it. Also, I'm gonna teach you some drying out tips. So the reason drying out is so important is for the most part, point shoes are still made in the traditional manner they were hundreds of years ago. So that means that they're made with materials like muslin, satin, burlap, and a glue that is actually water soluble. So the two things that are gonna break down the shoes are moisture and pressure. So when you think about ballet, what it is is it's the ultimate amount of moisture because you're sweating inside the shoe when you're dancing, and then it's the ultimate amount of pressure for you pushing down through the shoes. So you have to learn how to work with those materials and learn to make them last longer. So one of the things I'd like to show you are some ways to help you dry out your shoes in between wearing them. What I like to do is when you are finish dancing for the day. When you get home, what you're going to do is instead of keeping the point shoes on the bottom of the dance bag or throwing them in the bottom of the closet or leaving them in the trunk of the car, right, or leaving them in the bottom of your dance locker, you are going to get hooks and you're gonna put the point shoes on the hooks so they dry out tips up, right? Because tips up, gravity helps pull the moisture out of the shoe, so gravity's doing part of the work for you, right? If you don't remember anything, just remember I said kiss your tips to heaven, right? So what you want to do then is you have maybe your second pair ready to go, and you wear your second pair while that first pair is drying, and then once you've finished wearing them, take all everything out of the point shoe, right? And then go ahead and let that pair dry, and then you can wear this pair. Even works better if you have three pairs, right? Don't ever throw away an old pair of shoes because you may be able to get another wearing out of them. Take your shoe, mark down the month that you let it start to dry, right? And then go ahead and let them dry. Let them sit one month, three months, maybe longer. You'll be surprised how they'll dry out again. They'll harden back up and then you can wear them once again. A few more tips that I'd like to give you for helping the point shoes last longer, I'm gonna leave my tips up to heaven right there, right? is you can do a few things that are very proactive. And that's what you really need to do. For you young dancers, I like to liken point shoes to being fussy babies. They need a lot of attention, a lot of TLC, and a lot of maintenance, right? Think of these as, uh, say a musician would use something like they would use their cello. They take very good of their care of their cello in between using it. So you're gonna do the same thing with your point shoes. You're gonna let them dry tips up, kiss those tips to heaven, right? You're gonna rotate your pairs, you're gonna make sure they're well fitted, and then a few other things. One of the things I like to use is newspaper. Newspaper is amazing and it's so cheap, right? We get free papers in New York, so find a place that you can get a free paper, use the newspaper, and then take it, and all you're gonna do is ball up your newspaper, go ahead and put it inside the point shoe, Right, you can even still put it up inside the hooks. If your point shoe is very wet, what you do is you change the newspaper every hour, and that will help pull and dry out the shoe. 
Right, so that's one trick. Newspaper, inexpensive, very cheap. Some people tell me, uh, newspaper, look, you get print all over your hands, right? Okay, so what you do is you make your own desiccant. That's anything that's going to dry out the shoe. I've just made one out of rice, and I got a mesh bag. Uh, I got it at one of those uh, craft stores, and I'm just going to put that right inside the point shoe. Right? So this is a great way for you to dry out your shoes, especially after you take them off after class and you're transferring them from class in your dance bag to your hooks at home. Right? So you can use rice. What you can also do is you're going to give your shoes a bath. Yes, I said you're going to give your shoes a bath, a rice bath. So I've got a nice big tub of rice here. I'm going to just get the shoe in there. Right? Once again, I'm just going to cover up everything in the shoe. I'm going to bury them in this rice. Right? It's fun. <laughs> and then you keep burying the shoe in the rice. Make sure it's really buried really well. And leave them there overnight. And the rice is going to help pull the moisture out of the shoe. And then when you pull it out, you don't need to worry about the rice getting and making the point shoe dirty. Right? So there's your rice bath. Right? That's one option. Okay. Then another thing that's very, very important with your point shoes is uh, something to make the shoes last longer by hardening them and waterproofing them. Back in the day, we used to use floor wax. Some people swear by polyurethane. Some people use a resin and glue combination and paint the insides of the shoe. I am really I really enjoy uh, using cyanoacrylates. Cyanoacrylate is any kind of glue that hardens immediately and bonds with the fabric. Uh, it just has to have a viscosity like water. And those are a few things that you can do to help make your point shoes last longer. Thanks to everybody for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, click if you like something, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+.